Right now, hospitals in Oregon are under pressure, appealing once again to the state legislature for help. So Coin6 reported just last week that some hospitals are at or above capacity. Our Jenny Young talked to the president of the Oregon Association of Hospitals and Health Systems. And what did he have to say about it, Jenny? Jeff, the association equating uh, what happened during COVID-19 to hospitals, they're characterizing it as an earthquake and saying the challenges that hospitals are now facing are like the aftershocks, and they are hoping that state lawmakers can mitigate some of those effects. In every corner of our state, people, including children, are at risk of not getting the care that they need when they need it. According to daily numbers from the Oregon Association of Hospitals and Health Systems, today 240 people in Oregon emergency departments are waiting for a bed that's not available, while 449 patients are waiting to be discharged. Patients, the association says, who need to go to a nursing or long-term care facility but can't because there's no beds available at those facilities. Amanda Coulter, chief of nursing at Asante, explains just one of the impacts the clogged system is having on patients. Patients are having surgeries and procedures delayed, sometimes for months. Sometimes they arrive the at the hospital for their surgery to find out that there's no bed for their procedure. The Association of Hospitals is proposing a slate of bills this legislative session they believe will tackle the three major challenges hospitals are currently facing. Lack of capacity, not enough staff, including nurses, and a significant increase in operating costs. The CEO of Good Samaritan Medical Center shares a shocking example of cost increase. A simple box of disposable gloves in the hospital. Pre-pandemic, it cost us $4 per box. Today, same box, no changes, costs us $15. There is no way that you can take on all of those expenses when you already have a fragile margin. The steps the association is asking the legislature to take to address the problems include requiring the state to pay hospitals for each patient whose discharge is delayed and provide state-funded clinical training incentives and give tax credits for nurses to become teachers, saying there is a lack again. The association is also advocating for changes to the current law regarding nurse staffing, saying it doesn't meet the needs of the hospital and patients. A bill was proposed today. It was supported by the Oregon Nurses Association, and it would change the rules around uh, staffing and how hospitals have to staff uh, nurses. The hospital association is against this, says that it could cause hospitals uh, to close more beds, but the nurses association saying, really, it's just going to create a minimum uh, staffing. It's, uh, mean, it means more minimum staffing standards and ensures nurses get their meal breaks. Uh, we're digging in more into that. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Coin6 News.